Today is the fifth day we've been working on our International 240 tractor and first a little bit about how we got the tractor. This is an International 240 tractor. It has a six volt system. It's a junkyard find. It came in from a junkyard near us called the Goose Farm. And we traded a junk truck for this junk tractor. Well, it's not a junk tractor to us. It's got a nice three point hitch on it. Uh, this wheel doesn't move, so that's the first thing we're going to try and fix. We think the brake may be uh, seized on it. And we'll put this back into use and we'll use it here at Highland Hill Farm. The tractor only has a little over a thousand hours on it, so it shouldn't have much use and it should be in pretty good shape. So we'll find out. Uh, if you ever want to visit the Goose Farm, you can. They're in Ottsville, PA, and they have a lot of nice finds up there. This was just one thing that we found up there recently. And we do a lot of bartering with them as I gave them my truck for this tractor. And I think I got the best of the deal. This is Bill at Highland Hill Farm. The tank isn't coming out as I had hoped it would, so I'm using a temporary tank right now off of an old snow blower and uh, here's my carburetor that seems like it will work I had a little problem sticking here but it's free now so I'm going to reassemble everything and just use a piece of hose go from here to here and see what I got you're going to mount it right there for temporary correct just to make sure it's working right and it's on this side away from the hot exhaust then we'll run a hose around down and um, the tank itself has a lot of junk in it you said Yes, it did. You had mentioned that the old tanks have a lot of junk in it? Yes, there's a lot of varnished over material from the old gas. I don't know if it's the ethanol that's doing it. And it also appears there might have been some rust underneath that. So I don't know how aggressive I want to get with that tank. Uh, so I'm going to do some more checking with some experienced people and see what they think. For now, though, this will get me going and keep working on the tr This is a sending unit that was inside this tank even though there is not a gauge on the dash but evidently the tank is used for a series of tractors where they just hook up the wire then and go rather than create a bunch of different tanks you are welcome to come and visit highland hill farm and see the tractors that we've collected and also our indian artifact collection our dinosaur bone collection and all the trees and shrubs that we raise here in fountainville we specialize in screening and buffering trees and our major customers are those people who hate their neighbors because they want to block them out and we sell arborvitas pine trees and spruces for that purpose so give us a call and visit us at highland hill farm in fountainville pa diesel tractor is at highland hill farm on route 313 in fountainville pa we're a tree farm and we use a lot of equipment on our tree farm. This particular tractor will be used when we plant large trees, such as whips that are six, seven, eight foot tall. It has a horsepower of about 70 HP, which will be sufficient to pull a large tree planter. This video was produced at Highland Hill Farm. We grow and sell screening and buffering trees in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. And these are our green giant arborvitas. Call us for your screening tree needs at 215-651-8329.